standard third subject maths topic multiplication part 2 students we have learned to multiply using lattice method in our part 1 so let us learn another way to do multiplication so today we are going to learn about multiplication vertical arrangement multiplication by carrying over and word problems multiplication vertical arrangement first one is 34 multiply by 2 so we are going to arrange it in the vertical form first multiply the 4 in the units place by 2 so 2 fours are 8 very good hence write the 8 under the line in the units place now multiply 3 in the tens place by the 2 Two threes are six. Very good. So the product is sixty-eight. Next is forty-two multiplied by two. Now we will arrange it in the vertical form. So first we shall multiply two. Multiply by two, so two twos are four. Now we shall multiply two by four. That is, two fours are eight. Very good. So the product is eighty-four. Next is multiplication by carrying over. So our first sum is twenty six multiplied by three. So now let's arrange it in the vertical form first. So we are going to multiply six in the units place by three. So six multiplied by three. So six threes are eighteen. Very good. So we'll write eighteen here. But students. From the this eighteen, we are going to carry over in the tens place. So we take ten units to make one ten. We write this ten at the top in the tens place. So this one will go here. Now here only eight is remaining under units place. So now we are going to multiply this again. Three two sa six. Very good. And we have already one ten. So six plus one seven. So answer will be. Seven. So the final product which we have got is seventy-eight. So twenty-six multiplied by three is equal to seventy-eight. Next is eighteen multiplied by four. So let's arrange it in the vertical form. Now we are going to multiply. Eight by four. So eight fourths are. What is the answer? Thirty-two. Very good. So now this three we have to carry over. So this three tens will go here. Now. Four ones are four, and plus this three. We have to count. Okay, we have to add. 
So, 4 plus 3, 7. Very good. So, our product is 72. So, 18 multiplied by 4 is equal to 72. Our next sum is 23 multiplied by 7. So, first let us arrange it in the vertical form. Okay. So, first we have to multiply 3 units by 7. So, 7 3s are 21. So, we make 2 tens and write them at the top in the tens place and 1 is left in the units place. Now, 7 2s are 14 and together with the carryover 2, we get 16. That is 16 tens. 16 tens means 106 tens. So, what are we going to do? We are going to write 6 in the tens place and 1 in the hundreds place. And again, this one will come here down. So, our product is 161. So, 23 multiplied by 7 is equal to 161. Next is 72 multiplied by 8. So, let us arrange first in the vertical form. First, we are going to multiply 2 units by 8 units. So, 8 twos are 16. So, we will carry one year up and we will write 6 in the units place. Now, 8 nines are 72 and 1 is, we have to add that. So, 73 will come and 7 will go in the hundreds place. And again, it will come down because there is no number here. So, our final product is 736. So, 92 multiplied by 8 is equal to 736. Next is word problems. So, first one is how many chocolates in 9 jars if there are 34 chocolates in 1 jar? So, we have to multiply 34 by 9. So, let us first arrange it vertically. So, there are 34 chocolates in one jar. Total, there are 9 jars. Number of jar, 9. And we have to find out total number of chocolates. So, first we are going to multiply 9 by 4. That is 4. Nines are 36. Very good. So, 6 will go in the units place and 3 will go in the tens place. Now, 9 multiply by 3. So, 9 threes are 27. And plus this 3, which we have carried over. So, 27 plus 3, 28, 29. And 30. So, year will come 0 and 3 will go in the hundreds place. Students, here there is no number. So, this 3 will come down. So, the product which is, which we have got is 306. So, total number of chocolates 306. Six. Next is 25 children in a row 
how many in seven rows so now we have to multiply 25 by 7 so let us first arrange it vertically now there are 25 children in a row there are seven rows total number of rows seven and we have to find out total number of children so seven fives are 35 so 3 will go in the tens place and 5 will go in the units place then 7 twos are 14 and plus 3 which are carried over so 14 plus 3 15 16 and 17 so 1 we have to carry over in the hundreds place so 7 will come in the tens place and one will go in the hundreds place so the final answer which we have the final product which we have got is 175 so total number of children 175 next is make your own problems of multiplication and solve them so information will be given to you all so the information is 8 rupees for one book and 45 books so students you have to make word problem of this information so the word problem which I have made is if one book cost 8 rupees how much do 45 books cost in all so here we are going to multiply 45 into 8 so there are 45 books 8 rupees that is cost of one book is 8 rupees and we are going to find out total cost of 45 books so 8 fives are what is the answer 8 fives are very good 40 so 0 will go in the units place and 4 will go in the tens place then 8 fours are we have to multiply 8 by 4 so 8 fours are yes 32 so here we are going to add this 4 then it will be 36 so 6 will come in the tens place and it will go in the hundreds place and again here there is no number so this 3 will come as it is down so total cost of 45 books is 360 rupees so students now you have to do the homework First one is 31 multiplied by 3. Second one is 15 multiplied by 5. Third one is 40 multiplied by 8. Next is word problem. 1 meter of cloth cost 95 rupees. How much will 6 meters of cloth cost? Second one is 72 apples in one box. How many in 5 box? So you are going to arrange it vertically and you are going to solve these two word problems. Next is make your own word problems of multiplication and solve them. So this is the information given to you all. You are going to make your own word problems and then solve them. Thank you students.